Yes, Ladies Daddy, and I Boys and girls, we are back with Thanksgiving All Japan. This is the Thanksgiving special of my uh, precious All Japan. And this is what my Thanksgiving table looks like. It yeah, is me, just like... Papa, Uncle, and, and <laughs> me, Papa Muto, Uncle Muta, and fucking Grandfather Baba. Baba, just Baba chopping the turkey. <laughs> so, yeah. So, and we got a we got a seven match card for uh m- m- card for you, and we're gonna be starting things hot with uh with war in a battle ro- in a four way battle royal. When Mel's family was cooking the turkey, when it, when it was time to baste it, when it was time to baste it, Muda just hit it with a miss. He just missed the turkey. Baba chopped the turkey, not even using a knife, he just chops it. And it comes out perfectly carved, isn't it? Right. So yeah, uh, criticals at medium. If, if y'all don't mind, let me read them, read these people the card. So, yeah. so, so this is my Thanksgiving special to all of you. And, it, and we have a seven match card, like what JM said. The first match is a four way war with war people, which is Tiramiyu, Arashi, Araya, and Hare. I write, fuck, I'm sorry. Then our second match is the battle of the big fucks, which is Abdullah the Butcher t- taking against Stan Hansen. Then we have a tag team match between Mike Barton and Jim Steele and taking on no, against and, the greats. And as we're Koji not wasting, and and we're not wasting any time. No entrances in the Battle Royal. Here we go. This is the pre-show Battle Royal mode. Hey, hey what, am, what, am I, what am I doing? What am I doing booked on this card? I don't want to contract with all Japan. Because this is my request. This card. What are you talking about? And then we have the four-way juniors match between the problem child Kendall Cashin, Jimmy Yang, Kaz Hayashi, and Mosanabu Fuchi. Then we have the fifth match, Steve Williams versus Hiroshi Hase. The sixth match, Kawada taking on against Kojima. And then the and then the main event, wh- whoever wins gets control of all Japan, I guess. Keiji Muto curses the spirit of Giant Baba. Drink too much eggnog, I know. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried eggnog? It's not no. bad. I don't like it. You just want to do something funny? What's up? Check this out, so... I, at the, at, 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 literally, at, at, I literally say to one of my coworkers, hey man, you got plenty to uh, drink for uh, Thanksgiving? He's like, nah man, I don't drink. I, I drink eggnog. And I'm like, wait a minute, but eggnog has alcohol in it. Not all of it though, but yeah. Real, 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 egg, real eggnog is booze. As we see folks, the war of war. This happened. So, uh, who do you guys have for to win this, uh, our opening battle run? Uh, ten of you. Yeah, I got ten of you as well, folks. Powerbomb. Oh, One, two. Oh, almost had it. Wake up, brush my teeth, eat, take my meds, fuck around, eat some more, talk to fam, beat my dick, and just move on with my day. You not gonna watch the parade? Mm. You probably might like just watch like a movie or something with the fam. Mm. 
there. The main thing that he's doing there for, for a goatee. But what are you going to be doing, Zach? Uh, I'm going to I'm I'm wake up, eat, eat, a, eat a little something, just, just, so I, just so I can have something on my stomach to make my pill good. Well, that's one elimination. Hey, Rasta. Wait a second, what are we doing here? This is a All Japan, all Japan Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, sponsored by me. Aw, uh, uh, I was about to ask you to do something, but never mind. Continue. Yeah, yeah, right, that's a riot one. out. Now it's just down to Tenryu and Arashi. Rasta, do you think we'll win the Battle Royal? Tenryu. Arashi was like powerbomb pinning everybody. This year we're not eating till late, but this year. Oh no, wait a second, can, can, can I do a match? Or, or, or is the card already set out? Cards already, uh, cards already set up, but, you, but, you, oh. but if you want to do a match, we can do it after. Yeah, because I was about to do one with Jimmy Yang in it, since Jimmy Yang. I already Jimmy, booked Jimmy we, we got Jimmy Yang. Jimmy, oh, Yang's, in a, oh, Jimmy Yang's in a four-way. Against who? Now the juniors. <laughs> uh, so that would be Kendall Kashin, Hayashi, and Looking Kuchin. on my chat. The 53-year-old. <laughs> Oh, that's my exact. It's kind of funny how how Jimmy Yang, Kashin, Hayashi, and Fuchi during this time were like the only mainstay juniors in all Japan. Bruh. And Tenru wins. Bro, this man saying, I'm the bully. Come on, bro. This thing here, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, all, right, all right, guys, up next is going to be Abdullah the Butcher taking on Stan Hansen. Just like leave the Discord. Get out of drama. That's the one thing we probably do. It ain't worth it. That's why I join feds. It ain't, with, it ain't, like, it ain't worth people I trust with, key, with keyboard warriors. Yeah, that's why I join with people I actually fucking trust and shit. Now the tricky part is trying to find Stan. There he is. Yeah, that was so tricky. You just, you just found it. <laughs> I know. I had to do some get yeah, a little bit of guesswork. Oh yeah, cause nobody made a translated save of this game. Don't they? Yeah. Didn't they? No, nah, people well, made translated save of this game. There's translated, but not but not with combined. Combined pretty much undoes all of it. Where can I find some translated ones? Like, Look in the game fact. Alright, sure. right, everybody ready? Let's do it. Alright, now, now we got two big, big goofies. Oh, big, we gotta listen to the, uh, wait, wait. Goofy Oz. First, here comes Stan Hansen. Shut up. Uh, you guys hear it? I wonder why this. I wonder why Stan Hansen didn't make the cut of King of Coliseum too. That is. But is he? Hey, template. Yeah, I'm just wondering why he didn't make why he didn't like like make it and not as an edit. But he he was a templated too. 
Yeah, I'm just wondering, like. It was so bizarre how um Stan Hansen, Butcher, and Baba didn't make it into um into King of Coliseum two as like as like Natural. actually like licensed yeah. wrestlers. Yeah, licensed wrestlers could have just edit. Well, Baba was it? Well, Abby wasn't even in all Japan around that time. Yeah, but what? But they still could have added Stan Hansen as an unlockable. He was one of the few unlockables they all Japan had left. Yeah. <laughs> I love how they all, how the fans just sit it all at once. And also, it make it made sense for Jimmy Yang to be um, it made sense for Jimmy Yang to not be around because Jimmy Yang was in WWE. Yet Jimmy Yang made it to uh, Fire Pro Z. And never, and never appeared in another Fire Pro game after. That sucked so much, man. Yeah, he did not carry over into Returns. Him and two other people did not make it to Returns. I know Killer Khan was in Fire Pro Wrestling 1, but didn't make it into the other games. Hell, Fritz but do you know who I'm surprised? Do you know who I'm surprised made, the, uh, made it into... Um... Yeah, Fritz von Erich was only in the, in the Wonder Swamp, right? You know who I'm surprised made it to all versions of, um, almost made it to all versions of Fire Pro Wrestling? I hope. Blue Wolf. Yeah, Blue Wolf's because last he was game is Return Returns is his last game. Yeah. He, he was practically in almost all the ones that he was in at the time. Alright, so who do we got here? Do we got Hanson or do we have Abby? I get I Abby him. because Abby. I get Abby because Abby was kind of busted in this game. Well, that's well, he was pretty busted in real life too, uh, Rasta. I get what you mean. Yeah, hey, you see. Remember, he didn't have to do much. All he had to do was just like throw thrust, stab you, see these meat cleaver, and it was it. Yeah, you see, he's he he he, he has the he can kind of like an MMA dude, and he missed the drop kick. Yeah. 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 My monster in KOC and Fire Pro. Of course he was. Blah. Already starting off with that. Look, man. Abby was a beast. Up is over. I actually found his full song on Spotify for it. It's, it's actually pretty cool. Low key a banger. It's over. Did Abby just squash the answer? Yes. Yes, I told you Abby was overpowered and was overpowered and King Cosy and Green, particularly Green. I mean Please. red. Oh, man, Ab Abby with Abby was over. He, Abby was a draw at all Japan. It was super powerful in all Japan. That's Yeah, this was I think it was at the time that Stan Hansen were tied and Abdul the Butcher just said, you know what, let me help you guys for a bit before I depart. He retired. Let me help you retire even more. Abby was like, look, man, I'm in the mean of it now. <laughs> oh, why that's so fucking funny. He was speaking gibberish. It's kind of fun. It's kind of funny how, like, most of the juniors by this point were just there for a twin left. You got people like. Gwena Wawa, Carl Cottony, um, Omega Griffin, Dr. Wagner Jr., Super King. Alright, so great Buddha. Uh, do you want old school Buddha or present day Buddha? Present day Buddha would, present day Buddha would make more sense, but old school Buddha, I haven't seen many of old school Buddha stuff, so you, you can do. 
Alright, let's do the old school one. You want, you want, you want nineties? You, yeah, you want the nineties version? What's the difference? Well, they, they don't have the same finishers. And the diff, and and he's not bald. Well, yeah. Let's do the nine. Let's do the nineties. All right. So, 90s Great Buddha. Now I gotta find Kojima. Because Great Koji's a separate character, but I gotta find where he is. Alright, because that's and you know Koji the most, Muso, they know the most bizarre Mata. thing. What? There it is. Great Koji. Abdullah, Abdullah the Butcher was in the World War Tackling in 2007. Huh? He was in the real world tag league in 2007. Guess who was his partner? But, uh, oh god, who? Mino Suzuki. What the? Motherfucker, what? That is very bizarre. And guess who was won? It was won by, and the 2007 was won by Joe Doing and KG Mudo. Why is that a tag team? Why? And they, and they, okay, hold up. And they finished the world, and, and they finished the, um, real world tag league with 10 points. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot um that um Jim Steele and Mike Bartlett had a match of had, uh, like a match of the year candidate with um Tenzan and Kojima. That was probably in World Tag League, right? Yeah, but but he was still a banger. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah, I wish that uh, Jim Steele and Mike Barton would have been in New Japan more around that time. I think they were just mostly there just too because um they needed because they needed um fresh guys other than Scott Norton and like um all Japan was all like hey why don't we just give you Baldwin and Jim Steele they will work and surely enough they worked. Uh, here comes Mike Barton and Jim Steele. Too bad these two got squashed by Chronic. I mean like buried by Chronic. And they're about to take on Muta. the great Muta. 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 The great Muta. Uh, he would have been his 90s uh, version. Isn't this his 90s version? Oh, no, not, not, no, uh, he, what, Zach is asking what was Peak Muda. Oh, yeah, 90s was Peak Muda. Muda. Oh, yeah, then the, and, um, this, and I think this was around the time that Kendo Kashin was on his reign of terror with the junior belt. Kind of have a, I get a hard have a reign of terror when there's barely any juniors in the roster. Yes, that's no, that's why. But because he had, to, but let me see how many times he defended it. I'll tell you how many times he defended it. It's gotta be. I still can't believe Micro Tundo made the cut. For Rasta, your favorite Goku Go. Well, yeah, they were around, so it, so it made sense. So Goku Do made it in, in, in KOC Red, but didn't make it in Fire Pro. Well, that's because he was a jobber. So that means that he was good enough to include a King Coliseum 2, but wasn't good enough to be included in Fire Pro. Remember, both games were made by the same company. Yep, but it'd be much, but it'd be much easier to put 
Goku that wouldn't license in, in the in the Dreedy game since you'll need licensed people for that. Okay, let me, okay, so Kashin defended the, the junior belt. One He defended it nine times. Alright, who are these nine people that he defended the title against? He won it against Fuchi, then okay. he defeated Grand Nawa, Grand Hamada, Grand Jimmy, Grand Naniwa, Grand Hamada, Jimmy Yang, Tasuhito Takikawa, Carl Cottony, the Yuji Hijikata, the Great Sasuke, and then he finally defended it against Dr. Wagner Jr. And who did he drop it to? Nobody. He vacated the belt. <laughs> wow. A politician. That's why I told you. A politician, even back then. He did the Shawn Michael. Hell no. This man was like, I'm not putting. This man literally said, I ain't putting no one over. No, 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 no. He did the JM Hogan. And you know, and and check check this out. He won the um. I mean, after his return, he won the All Japan World Tag Team Champions with Yuji Nagata. And drop the belt again. This man's like, I ain't doing no jobs. I ain't putting no one over. Uh, I no, do you, but do you know who he screwed? I think he's he screwed. He screwed Jimmy Yang. He screwed Jimmy Yang particularly because this this dude made Jimmy Yang drop the call cottony. Who would proceed man, to have a match man, in all man. Japan for the junior? Who would proceed to win the junior champion carnival? Okay. Go up against Kendo Kashi and he lose and then he just disappeared. This man literally said, I ain't putting no one over. <laughs> Fuck you, Jimmy Yang. That's that Did is that, you can that's do the crazy. Yeah, what do you guys think about that? The fact that this man literally told Jimmy Yang, I you aren't in my league. Now fuck off. <laughs> This man, okay, but oh, this man oh, literally geez. brought this man literally brought a battle arts dude in into the junior champions carnival and made him win just so he could have a match with him, and then he proceeded to win that match, and then Cup proceeded to do nothing with his wrestling career after that. I just find it funny how was Kashi booking the junior division or something? I don't know because okay, here it was. It was the regulars. It was Grand Hamada. Grand Naniwa, Jimmy Yang, Kasayashi, and Ryuji Hijikata, and then he was Carl Cottony, who was making his debut in all Japan. Carl Cottony, he was an ROH this... guy, right? No, he was a battle arts guy. A uh, battle arts guy? Yep. And his trainer was Joe, Malik, Joe Malenko. Joe Malenko? Well, if you I like, well, 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 you have some credit. well, to be fair, Ross, you do have a little bit of credibility if you were trained by the Malenkos. Yeah, okay, so look at this. He had... This is how this is how many matches he had in all Japan before he left. He had ten matches in total. Really? His final match was the All Japan title match with Ken Okashi. Uh, where is he now? Is he still around? His last match was in 2014, which was. Which was okay. So he was very inconsistent. After he had after he had that Battle Arts anniversary show, he disappeared for five years before going to before doing two matches in 2008. Then three more years later, he did the match in 2011. Two more years later, he did the match in 2013. And one more year, that his final match was against some random people in Florida. Wow. Oh, man. Meanwhile, as uh, as we get back to the tag action here, uh, Jim Steele and is bringing it to Muto, but Muto with the reversal. That's Mike Bodden. Well, Mute, well, Mute is giving him the business. Oh wait, Mario with the counter? No, almost got a three That's count right a there. Three right there. It's kind of bizarre that this. It's kind of bizarre how we had to push Mike God in like 2001, where like he was the final. He was the final in most of the important pro wrestling tournaments. Dude, he was a, he was a champions carnival finalist against Kenji Muto. Yeah, he beat him ten you. They must have. Muto must have really. Muto must have really liked. Him. 
And even more so that he was a finalist in the G1 Tag League. Well, I guess that shows just how over he can be when he beat Dr. Death, right? When he beat Dr. Death yeah. in a real when he beat Dr. Death in a real fight. Many people don't realize how good that that fight did for Mike Baldwin. Because, yeah, while it might have buried him in WWE, it didn't bury him in Japan. <laughs> because he took out one of the wrestling's t biggest tough guys. What Mike Martin called the man with the gold last? Yeah. yeah that's, that was his gimmick. Meanwhile, Jim still had the whole wolf pop feel going on until he didn't just become another foreign wrestler. Yeah, I can see somebody in Ipa doing the golden left. I mean, it is a straight, it's, a, it's pretty much an old, it's like a pretty much a super powered body. You know what I mean? Oh, this could end up being a draw. It is. Why did you set a time limit? Wait, how do you do the new city and you got stuff? Huh? Ipa no. busted. Oh, I'm gonna do the DT and he got stunned. That, that's why I will never like Ken Okashi. He screwed, he screwed Jimmy Yang out of getting a title. Oh, Jimmy Yang has never ever gotten the a belt after this. You know, just remember, he's booking Noah. Mm. But good thing he isn't in, good thing he isn't in his prime because if he was in his prime, he would have been in trouble. Oh, um, JM. Yeah. On the PlayStation Plus stuff, they they added Nightmare Princess to the um, PlayStation stuff. The, uh, the, uh, the uh, add they added they added Nightmare came to the PlayStation Plus games kind of long now. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be a draw. Unless. Mudo's okay, like, never mind. Mudo's like the Mudos are like I ain't doing no job. No. That was their way of saying, I ain't doing no job. And Mike Murray's like, I ain't doing no job either. I'm a, I'm a tournament finalist. But yeah, like they added Nightmare Princess into the, um, to the, pl right, up to the PS Plus is, uh, catalog. All right, up next is the four way junior battle. Mm hmm. Okay, give me a sec here. Now we got to go to Battle Royal section, yeah? And keep in mind, do you know who called defeated in the finals for the for the champion carnival? Right. Jimmy Yang. That must have pissed you off so bad. That <laughs> kind of uh, Jimmy Yang really Jimmy Yang really carried the division. Kendo Kashin did despite his popularity, Kendo Kashin was just bad. Uh what made him so bad? He wasn't doing any other stuff. He was, matter of fact, like, what he was like focusing in. Wait, nah. After after his, because I remember he also buried another guy, um, another dude in Japan, in Japan before he left for all Japan. Was it somebody you liked? No, nah, it was Masayuki Nawase. Uh. But then again, Masayuki Nawase was kind of just the. A kind of just special like, attraction. He was brought in. He was brought in. He won the IWGP Junior Belt on his first match. He defended it successfully against Elsa Mind and proceeded to lose it against Kendo Kashi. Right. All right and now I think this was Kendo Kashi unmasked? I don't know. Yeah, that was Ishizawa. That was him unmasked. Does Jimmy Yang have alternate, alternate costumes? I don't know. Oh boy, now we gotta fight Kazayashi. I don't I don't think he's in this junior. No, wait, he is. Never mind. Yeah, he's number... He's under Ishizawa. So that would be fourth. Yeah.
Ah, fuck. Press the wrong button. You think, you think would, would you think they would have at least included, um, at least included some of the people who were from the other companies and stuff, but no. Uh, like who? The people besides the, those four who were in the all Japan, the new all Japan um, junior division. Well, all Japan never gave a shit about their junior division. No, they never gave a shit about the junior division up until Kasayashi won the belt. Up until... Because as soon as Kasayashi won the belt, that was the turning point. Yeah, because didn't all Japan like not care about their junior division at all, even during like the eighties and nineties. They didn't care about the junior division in the eighties and nineties, but like they certainly cared about it in the two thousands. Right, uh, Ross, have you been up to date with stuff going on in the tag leagues right now? For real world, the World Tag League and Junior ta Super Junior Tag? No, I haven't. So, right, so let me see, who won the butt after the Wait, 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 hold on. Who do you guys got for uh, this match? I want to say Jimmy Yang, but I feel like the problem child, Kendo Caution, might be this way to him. Now, as you see, despite despite him only having three power bars, um, Jimmy Yang is Jimmy Yang AI is pretty good in this. He can defeat people with four power balls on his own. Well, guys with three power balls can beat guys with four. It's just a it's just a lot harder than it looks. Yeah. Not if you're giant Kamala. Dude, I saw Blue Wolf beat. I, I saw freaking a uh, young lion in KOC two. This is rare. I actually saw freaking um, her, her, like you know uh, go to like. To go, to go, young lion to Gucci be blue. Okay. No, no, no. It wasn't him. It was Yalf, Yalfumi Yamamoto. Young lion Gucci Tatsu actually be blue wolf. But that's because blue wolf was just well blue wolf. I think it was like around. I think it was around like the same position as Tanahashi, yeah. but like yeah, blue, not yeah, up. Yeah, blue, blue wolf was three star. It was, it was three. Had three power balls. No, I'm talking about like like him in the same position as Tanahashi, as like the U30, like the U30 title division back when that was. I still can't get over the fact that Jimmy Yang is only in one Fire Pro game. He's only in Z, and that was the one nobody liked. Hey, Rusty, what do you think of the hey, fact that people tried to pan Fire Pro Z? How bad was it? I don't know, like, you know, like, one of these days we're going to have to explore Fire Pro Z, you know what I mean? Because I know that Z yeah. had a really good story mode, um, I know that they had, they had, like, new, they had, new, they had, like, two new arena types that are not in any other Fire Pro game. Like, they had an outside arena. Yeah, you know, like, they had, like, an outside arena. Um, they had this new USA arena. They had, you know, World Japan at the time when World Japan was around. Yeah. Oh, because I actually eliminated. Well, to be expected. Well, that's kind of to be expected in this position. Like, Kasayashi was basically the Jabba Jr. <laughs> Is this Kazayashi post WCW? Yep. Well, what the heck? What the? What's that glitch? That was a funny glitch. My man was literally arm arm barring the air. He tried to make the air tap out. He was using the force. My politics. Oh, that was just gang. Like, just ganging up on Jimmy Yang. He's like my politics transcend. Fuji's like, fuck the young... Masuda and Fuji Ross is literally like, fuck the young talent. Oh, but they'll give... They'll... They'll... they'll oh. Okay, now the alliance has broken up. Oh, Not mad. Hmm. 
it. Yeah, no cash Damn. Is such a massive threat. Do you guys think Kashin should be added to the Anoki army? That depends. Ooh. He what? No, he no because like by the time Anoki like he like like came out as like Anoki, that was like around the time like in like Anoki was starting to wear off a lot. He was teamed with you know um, Fujita and Nagata and Nakamura, but n not that much. You know what I'm saying? And and to tell you, his style is not really MMA. It's more brawler and grappler. And it isn't really shooter like since Kendo Kashin is too lazy to be a shooter. <laughs> nope, two point nine. Then again, this is the same man who they pushed to win the best of the Super Juniors in 1999. Yeah, wasn't he pretty over in New Japan around that time, though? Yeah, he was pretty over. So it made sense. I was really about to have a draw. No, this match was an hour. Uh. But then again, um, but then again, although, although despite the fact that, um, that, um, Ken and Kashin was in the Reign of Terror, they at least gave Jimmy Yang some stuff. They made him win multiple tournaments and stuff. Jimmy Yang picked Fuji. Now it's the revenge. Now, will he put him over? Or is he gonna be like, fuck you, I'm over? Oh, the rope saved him. The rope saved him. Oh, no. Oh, but not for long. Oh, no, he's still in You see that? He's that's... Oh, no. Backdrop. Piss him off. Oh, no, he's gonna... Oh. Nick Rigger. Oh, no, he's tired. Oh, he's too... St He's too tired from carrying this match. It's not there. Face wash. Irish whipped. Two. Caught the ropes. No. Irish whipped. Hey, Grayson. Hey, man. Blow, blow. Blow, blow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, oh, no. See, I told you he was a politic. He's like, I'm going over, brother. Fuck the young talent. And I'm going to save the pro wrestling Noah decades later. Yeah. Well, that was a train wreck. Hello. Alright. Next matchup. Mel, what is the next matchup? Oh, the next matchup is going to be a, uh, in, uh, a doozy. Because this next match is going to be Dr. Geeth. Steve Williams hit him so against Hiroshi Asa. Dr. Death. Dr. Death. Dr. Death. Hey, hey, be hey, be hey, before you play on Dr. Death, can, can um... Before you pick on Dr. Death, I need to see if Jimmy Yang has any alternate, like, alternate costumes. Just, just, just... I need to see if that's true. Yes. Oh, he does. Let, let's... Yeah, he does. Right, right, we'll see this. We'll, right, we'll, we'll see real quick. Oh, and that go... Yeah, any personal that... stuff about stuff earlier? Talk about that outside the stream, please. No horseman business. <clears throat> In, in the chat, in, 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 in the street, in the video. Yeah, each other, and yeah. Alright, so, Ross, did you see it? I'll make sure, I'll make, I'm gonna look for those pants at King of Coliseum too. I wonder if they still have those pants. I that's like that one. alternative, that's my favorite Jimmy Yang costume right there. And, I don't see the difference oh, in this that's one. that's nice costume. Alright, let's do the Steve Willen versus Hase. Let's do the Tag Experts. I'm surprised you didn't do a high say with um 
I'm surprised you didn't. I'm surprised you didn't consider teaming up Williams with Tana versus Hase and Ka Kawada. But then again, they were pushing the Kojima versus Kawada feud. Johnny right. Smith. Yeah, he was still with All Japan. Well, he was also with MLW around this point. Yeah, he was, and he even had the MLW title um, um title match against Kojima. It, yes, it was it was time, average. Uh, yeah, because around this time MLW uh, was just starting, and Kojima was helping out the help, helping them out as a favor. There he is. Here we go. I wonder what was Michael Tonus finishing during this point. I have, to, I have to go look it. I have to go look it up. Hold up. What was his finisher, and what and what moves did he do? Oh yeah, and someone make a racist slur on my kids' court, so I had to block him, block that person. Did you not hear what I just said? Horseman business is horseman business. Right now we in a stream right now, so we can't be fucking around. God, we were recording. God damn. All right, here he comes. Fuck, oh, Doctor Death. I don't know Doctor Death Slender. Cause I love it loud. Doctor Death or Doctor Doctor Dick. Turn it up. Hey. I like it loud. Doctor Jim, like it loud. tough guy. Oh, hold on, guys, guys. I'm, I'm looking. Oh, this is the wrong one. I'm look, I'm looking up the, um, I'm looking the Michael Tunnel's finisher during this point. Now, here's the thing, guys. Around this point in time, Doctor Taft is like the end year around the end of his run. He's very injury prone at this point. Um, and also, uh, he pretty much his credibility, his drawing power and credibility was destroyed when he lost when he when he got bitched out by by Lady Semi Shields. Hey, somebody, somebody could tell Doctor Gid to go. Oh, he fought Semi Shields in a wait, D1 wait, wait. fight, Who and Semi Shields oh, bitched him out. Wait, hold on, let me see. Damn. Okay. Okay, so this was okay. So this was Michael Tunnel's finisher. His finisher was the blockbuster. This man, wait, what the? This man was doing blockbusters. How old is Michael Tunnel <laughs> in two thousand? No, no, two thousand two. There's no, no because that's way. what it says. This that's what his finisher says. His the Buff Bagwell blockbuster off the top rope. Now it must have been a different blockbuster because it's it's shown as Samoan drop blockbuster. Samoan drop blockbuster is fucking epic. Oh my god. <laughs> Some bowling drop blockbuster. <laughs> that is some wild shit, sir. Uh, after this, we're gonna have to sim a Michael Tundo match and see this. Now why don't why don't why don't we just because um let me see how the finisher was done again. Okay, so okay, so let me see. Okay, so the finisher was it's a running counter. Alright, it's a running counter. And that's it. And um, <laughs> all one, all one, and uh. But you're saying what it does? Can you describe it? You're saying running counter, counter what? What is it? Like a slam? What? I hold, hold up, I gotta see. Okay, so to perform the move, it's. It's, it's all one of. That doesn't answer my question, Rasta. What is, like, I, 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 I haven't seen him. Move, what it looks like. I don't know what it looks like because he barely ever uses it. All he ever uses is the airplane spin. Oh no, that dreaded airplane Game spin. spin. The airplane spin. You talking yeah, like a Eugene airplane spin? Alright, but anyway, who no, you seriously, that's one of. Are you going for Hase that's, or fuck that death? Doctor Death, baby. Doctor Death. I love it loud. Shit. Let's go. We gotta have that Doctor Dick. Doctor Bomb. Yes, sir. 
fuck? If you know what the funny thing, in fact, the Michael what Tunda, Michael Tunda right? airplane spin is one of his power, up. is one of his powerball moves. Wait, what? Oh God, yes, the airplane spin is is what is Michael what? is one of the airplane spin is one of Michael Tunda's powerball moves. Wow, I'm not sure how to how do I feel about that. I was wondering, why is this man doing an airplane spin as a power ball? Why is that a thing? Somebody tell me why that's a thing. That's crazy. Help me. Help me. Help me. That's crazy, dog. What are you doing, Hasa? You do not deserve to. Yes, get dropped. Oklahoma yes. Stampede. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. For Oklahoma, Doctor Bomb. Dr. Bomb. Okay, okay, that's a you three. You that's right. I love it. Oh, Doctor Kick me in. Oh, wait a minute. Copy Gal. Yeah. Keep on calling him Doctor Gig. Yeah, that's the one. 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 Yeah, that's will be taken on Kojima. Yes, semi I mean Kawada. Hey, do you know where do you know do you know what do you know what has arrived, folks? Course has arrived to see my Thanksgiving festivities card. And, and Jay, in fact, do you know what's the most craziest thing? Sorry, what? And this pure sim channel. Um, do you know there's this one tag um team? Tag team that has the All Japan Junior Belts forever. Cool. It was a team of Abdullah the Butcher and Giant Kamala. Uh, how long did they have the belts? Well, judging by the thing, they pretty much had the belts for the entirety of the channel. So that was like the channel was so that was like at least one year. Mm. Damn. That that's how. That's how over. That's how overpowered Abdul and Kamala were. Which match were you on? We're at the same minute. minute. Uh. Kojima, Kojima, and Mudo doing double duty. Kuji. double dipping. Let's go, Koji. 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 Wait, where's the sword? Wait, where's the? I don't think they had it in this game. Oh, that sucked! Hey, I'm about to get up right now and probably do something else. I mean, I still have to upload this video. Alright, take care. You too. And here comes Kawada! After he was done having beers with Stone Cold. One beer, what? Two he beers. Was, you, know, you know he wouldn't you know he beer. wouldn't have a beer with Steve Austin because Steve Austin is a foreigner. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ross, you don't get it. There was a new legacy joke in their in their in their Wrestling Revolution 3D. Where, where in, in one of the Wrestling Revolutions games, where he's like, I had a, I was having a beer with Kawada, and there was one time he had a tag match. It was against Austin and Kawada. So he's like, it is canon. He did have a beer with Kawada. <laughs> oh my goodness. Also, yeah, I forgot, I forgot the Stone Cold Stunners in this game. What? You said the Stunner? Yes, the Stunners in this game. Oh, hell yeah. Including the rock bottom and the people's elbow. What? You said rock bottom? What? You said the rock bottom? Holy oh, shit. <laughs> I never ever have beer and I'll never ever plan to because I do not I do not want to get drunk and kill myself. Well, to be fair, Roxy, you can drink, but you can't do it responsibly. I don't know how many times I should drink to do it responsibly. Whoa, what? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Like, what is as responsible as you can get? 
And just make sure you have food with you. Because I may not... limit myself to only uh, one. And if I were to do it, I would do it at the privacy of home, uh, not in the bar. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to get spiked. Unless I'm with people I trust. I ain't trying to get spiked. Yeah. But you can, but yeah. Hey, 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 want to know a crazy <laughs> fact? <laughs> I will. Do you know that Giant Kamala's last match was against... Do you know um, Kamala's last match was with him? Was with um, Ab Abdullah the Butcher against Doi Funk, Doi Funk Jr. and Kasuhiko Nakajima? Oh, how did, that, how did that go? Was that a disaster? I don't know. I haven't watched the thing, but um, I but I but I remember it begins with a I remember it begins with a run in by Nakajima and Doi Funk. <laughs> Nakajima, old ass Dory Funk Jr. running at old at Abby and Johnny Kamala. Yeah, they were making their entrance and they ran at them. No, I'm just trying to picture old ass Dory Funk Jr. running. That sounds so funny. Like he's running in slow. He's gonna be running in slow motion. But yeah, Rasta, I think you'll be uh, you you like the stuff going on in the Super Junior Tag League. Uh, there's been some fun matches. Oh, maybe I will. I I I, 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 I watched the Tenkaichi Junior and um the the Tenkaichi Junior tournament. It was pretty good. The final was pretty good. Yeah, I heard the real world tag league for all Japan was pretty shit this year. What happened? No, nah, I just heard it wasn't that good. Of course, it wasn't that good. I got my is today, so. It will be cool, but I am pro working, so I might like. So, uh, you guys, so you guys got you got Kawada or you guys got the uh, Kojima or semi main? I got Kawada. I, I would pick Cozy because he's so crazy. So, but I go with Kawada. Remember, Kojima was a main event at the time, but then no, but he was not beating Kawada at any point in during this period. I doubt he even. I don't doubt if he even can. But again, it's pro wrestling, so anything's possible. He didn't. He didn't beat Kawada until 2005. Kojima is a good ace. People underestimate him. And the fact that he was booked good by um all Japan, unlike his partner Tenzon. <laughs> well, you gotta blame Inoki for that one. <laughs> yeah, we gotta blame Inoki for that one. Oh, it's over. Oh, Never mind. Kojima's still in. Kojima. Oh, late Cozy Larry. Let's go, Cozy. Let's go, Cozy. Oh, 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 can he do it? Can he, can, can he get the, can he get the Larry? Wait, wait, wait. What's he going for? Oh, so we reversal? Let's go, Cozy. What's Kawada thinking about here? Nothing. Cozy That's Lariat funny. staggered him. Cozy! Oh, no. This, oh, it's over. Oh, man. What a match. But you gotta admit, he got pretty close there. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Never underestimate Cozy, baby. Oh yeah, I'll be called. Johnny Smith had to retire during this because he had an injury and he was afraid it would worsen if he continued wrestling. That's a stupid thing to do. Yep, and now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the main event. B -b -b main event. Yes, it is. Really it is going really to be TG Mudo, all around con man, con artist, hey. 
I would not take fitness, my father's fitness, slander into a Tokyo Dome. Stop it. Stop it. That is take slander. It that is slander. Hey, JM, hey, JM, you, you can't you can't really say much because he did have a great match with Tenyu for the, for the, the Triple Crown. <laughs> All around finesser. Quit slandering me, Papa. Yo, no lie. Who do you guys got? Him or Jeff Jarrett, finesser of the year. I want to say Jeff because Jeff somehow got a fucking job. No, but Mudo finessed his way to a Tokyo Dome match with Shinsuke Nakamura. But he didn't finesse, he did a smart business deal. Well, it was a mind. smart business deal. <laughs> this man finessed himself into a six-man tag with Darby and Sting. That one, I, that one, I wouldn't, I would not do. And here he comes. Here comes the ultimate finesse, all around con man, KG Muda. Okay, wait. The the other one's, It's kind of funny that KG Muda was 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 by this by saying that he ruined all Japan to fight the fact that he legit saved the company. Like, what were they gonna do with just Kawad and Fuji and and um Moss Man? At least people got jobs that's, though, at least for that. This is a good question. Would you imagine a fuck timeline if New Japan was like they bought their bought all Japan back then? Either what you do it wouldn't happen, but just imagine how, how like, crazy that would have been. That is I'm actually kind of intrigued now. <laughs> that would be kind of interesting. Like, that's right, I fought my competition. I now own Zen Nippon oh. Pro Rest, and it's dead. I'm keeping the roster, keeping the library, I'm killing all Japan. I'm just going to dump you over the shit out that motherfucker. What, you think Inoki would do it? No, he would. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would. Rasta, what do you think? You think he would have done it? Done what? Bought out all Japan? Who? Inoki. Honestly, he wouldn't. Hmm. Is this why? Because he has, because probably because of respect to Baba. Okay, that I actually kind of do get though. I gotta go. I got it. Cool. Yeah. Fine, so you think Keiji Muto can defeat the spirit of all Japan? You think he will <laughs> the kill the heart you mean? He will kill, he uh, will stab the heart, and it will be like all Japan is completely his. Era of I know, Bu love. I know Butcher and I know Butcher and Giant Silva did. You ready for Muto Sports Entertainment? Oh hell yeah. Hey, hey, Moodle Sports and Team was kind of good in the in discussion. Kamayashi, Akamichi Noku. Wait a minute, Mel. I showed you a little bit of Moodle Sports and Team, and you hated it. You see, I'm a man who you just don't fuck on. I'm a man who is basically flipping everyone. <laughs> so I will admit, Moodle hit a guy with a, with a ring so. truck. I pretty much did <laughs> contradict everything I just said, so I did that. I mean, I it's it's not me, it's not my cup of tea. I don't I really don't. But match wise, I really do don't mind. Storyline wise, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, like you don't care for it, but you, you don't absolutely hate. Yeah, I don't really care for it, but I don't really. I'm only happy because all Japan is still up front, so even though it's floating like it's, you know, just a dead body. Floating in the ocean. Get in the ring, you bums! Oh my god. Nah, run that back. Run that back. Run it that back. God, Jesus Christ, we are not that was ending. bad. We are not ending like that. <laughs> run that match back. Nah, nah, nah. I refuse to acknowledge that match right there. Run that motherfucker back. <laughs> On God. That's not how we're going to end this one. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Papa, you're not going to con me out of this one. <laughs> you're not going to finesse you out of your buddy, brother. You're not going to finesse me on this one. No.
views. You, but you guys already paid. You, you guys already paid me your money. Now get this double Fresh count out. Dick. Get this no, NWA. You, get this NWA. No, 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 even Chris is like revenge. <laughs> yes, revenge. Yes, that. I swear not. to God, if if, if it, it it ending in a critical is only gonna be so much more funny. Yes. Oh, you're so mad. <laughs> that was bullshit. That was bullshit. I am disappointed. I am disgusted. <laughs> You thought Kendall Kashin was doing a finesse, but Mudo just went up them. For real, and I'm mad. <laughs> I'm glad he wasn't in any of the Wrestle Kingdom games. Jesus Christ, man. man Praising your own father <laughs> just to get finessed. <laughs> Mal actually, Mal literally came out with a microphone. He's like, no, no, nah, Papa, you're not nah, taking this away this. from me. <laughs> I nah. referee Wada, I order you to restart this match. Start this match right now. <laughs> We're not having an NWA finish. Y'all motherfuckers, get your bitch asses back in the ring, boy. <laughs> imagine if they imagine if they had imagine if they had the NWA belts and um King of Coliseum. Hmm. I mean yet. Yeah. Well, zero what happened. Oh my god. Oh, well, get oh your asses god. back in the ring. Get in the ring. Stop. Get in the ring. <laughs> Are you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all of you. I hate what did all I do? You. What did I do? <laughs> no, I mean both of them. I'm that has to be the most 1980s booking I've ever so mad. <laughs> That was embarrassing. We gotta do a, third, a charm. Come on. You know what? Do it again. No okay. count outs. No disqualification. Well, you can't really get rid There are no DQs in this game in KFC. No count outs. I don't care. <laughs> yo, I the, can't yo, believe I just got the job. last choice from the whole party. But nobody wants to put anybody over. That's Ooh. 80. Right there. But here's an idea can trace rules. No! Right, here we go. Okay, I, <laughs> they okay, can't okay. leave the ring and... I don't care! <laughs> uh, okay. What did I miss? I'm so mad! Okay, so Double Pony, count outs in a row. How did I get in the main event. Event. So, Pony, in the main event, Giant Baba and Keiji Muto are literally, like, refusing the job, so they literally got themselves double count outed twice. God damn it! So Mal's like, no, 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 you're not doing this, no, we're not doing this NWA bullshit, we're not doing this 70s territorial Jim Cornette bullshit, that era is dead, fuck all those crusty old men from that era, <laughs> no count out. Pretty much. I'm glad I'm watching this. Sorry that I'm on the phone and all that, but my gosh, that... <laughs> I had to I had to a on it. Yeah, no lie, I bet you that into a YouTube short. <laughs> I wouldn't lie. I'm gonna make that into. I gotta. I, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm that gonna into clip it. Short. Huh? Right. This is bullshit, man. How the yeah, fuck? I mean, uh, yeah, I'm I literally making that into twice. a YouTube clip. Uh, into a YouTube short. <laughs> Double count out twice. <laughs> That was bullshit, bro. I, I am. Yo, imagine Shinsuke Nakamura versus Keiji Muto having that finish. No! No one's taking to it, pitching in the piano. I am so disgusted. I am so appalled that this has happened to me. And I swear to God, did you put on time limits? Hmm? Did you put on time limit? Uh, yeah, Evan on uh thirty. Fuck. <laughs> I'm scared now because if they could finesse me by a goddamn double count out twice, I wouldn't be surprised if they finesse me with a goddamn. 
Mm. I don't want to think about it. It's a good thing that, uh, that Judd's not here. Judd would have clowned the shit out of me. And, 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 and you know what? If he clowned the shit out of me, I would take it. Because cause Papa really made me look like a clown. <laughs> We should we should do another we should do another card, but it's best to just be like the people who like. I should request a card sometime. Did you already send course the match? Uh, show request? No, I meant you. Me? Yes, you. What are you saying? Oh, so that's what the Baba DDT looks like. Okay. <clears throat> I've been wondering what the giant DDT looks like, so that's what it looks like. I get it. Oh, yeah. December 1st. Uh, we will be watching the, uh, the Tatsumi Fujidan versus Tanahashi show. Oh, oh, now we got a freaking finish. Uh, Baba just I destroyed it. I will not be able to watch that. I will be on the road Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 1980s All Japan Pro Wrestling. I present to you the, I present to you the two finesses who fucked me up for this <laughs> show. Why would you let your father do that to you? That's oh, no, oh, hey, hey, cool. hey, 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 hey. Oh, man, what a show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hey, hey, um, thank the... you very... Wait, hold on, Rasta. I gotta do my own. I gotta do the closing. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, what a show. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Um, I hope everyone enjoy gets laughs and grows fat from Thanksgiving, get drunk from the alcohol or the, the eggnog or whatever you drink, eat that turkey, ham. If you gotta shove, shove it down in somebody's throat, do it. Make sure you guys enjoy Thanksgiving. Have a good evening. Good fight. Good night.